Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We're jumping in once more, randomising our character, seeing what's what. And we get regular old Judas, kind of an interesting one. He can be a little difficult, still got Atlas installed. I need to uninstall that at some point. He will probably be a character that I'm... Well, he's definitely one that I'm considering adding to the series. Probably trying to do Mother here. Uh, he's definitely one that I'm considering adding to the series. If you guys didn't see already, I did a... Um, ooh, we, got, we started with the hollow ground poop. Nice. Um, I did a video showcasing that character um, a few days ago now, probably like four or five days ago for you guys, uh, last weekend, and really cool character. Still in demo though, so probably going to wait until it's full release and then it might get added to the series. I can never... Oh, this is a very difficult room. Um, I can never like confirm or deny really when a character, if a character is going to be added. This is a very difficult room. Okay. Wasn't so bad in the end. Um, that's kind of an interesting one, actually. Kind of an interesting one. I'm hoping we get a bomb just so we can get that soul heart and save ourselves some pain. Um, it will put me in a much better mood and much better uh, position for later on. But yes, um, I, uh, I do want to add more characters to the series. The only problem is, obviously, as you guys know, I have custom art for all my thumbnails. It's, it's something that I decided to do, or at least me and my artist decided to do when Isaac first came out and for my channel in general. And it's both a blessing and a curse. They are fantastic. They're incredible. They're some of the best made art I've ever seen. Um, props to my... Do you know what? That could be wacky. Props to my artist for just creating something absolutely fantastic. Uh, but at the same time, it does mean that adding a new character to the series isn't exactly an easy process. Because I have to make sure my artist is available to draw them and, and all that sort of good stuff. Unfortunately, no bomb here, which is really a shame. Uh, we did get quad shot, though. I'm very happy to have quad shot here. Um, definitely a little risky with the, um, current setup we have right now, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, yeah, so, in, on, on theme with that, on theme with that, this guy's an interesting one. This guy's actually one that could very easily kill me, so I'm gonna have to be very careful here. Just because if a spider, like a rogue spider, wanders into me, or he jumps weird, which he often does... I need to kill the spiders first, really. Um, yeah, so as, as of that, the question of the day is going to be... If, if you could see any modded character added to the series, what would it be? I know that's probably a pretty basic one, uh, pretty standard. Uh, but I'd still, I'd still be interested to know what, what character you'd really, really like to see. And if it's a character I've considered, but um, I've decided not to add then I will try and um, I will try and let you guys know why that is. Because I'm sure there's a few that... Um, that people want me to add that I haven't yet um, and, and are maybe wondering why or people have um, have already commented saying they'd like to see it and are maybe wondering why it's not been added um, and I can, I can explain that uh, to you guys. One thing that I will just say off of the bat is I will likely never or at least not for a long while add the tarnished characters. One, there's just a lot of them. Um, there's, there's now it's like five or six, which I think is just going to mucky the series a little bit. And also, they're just not my favourite. Um, I know a lot of people like them. I don't have anything hugely against them myself. They're just not really my style. I probably should have moved that over to get that, but oh well. I'm a little worried about my health, I'll be honest. Friendly Sack. This is... Oh, Jelly Belly would have been top tier, but Friendly Sack is probably my favourite modded item from the Rep Repentance Plus mod. It's just, I hope we get to actually see it in action and not die before it, uh, before it doesn't proc. Because, honestly, there's so many things here that could kill me in a single hit. So many things. Um, but, yeah, it's it's an item that I just love. Every third room, essentially, we're going to see a, um, a random familiar type or, like, companion type thing spawn. So, we get, like, different dips and all sorts of stuff and clots. As you can see there, we've got a locust. Unfortunately, health is really not in a good spot right now. Um, I'm going to have to be very careful on whatever boss we end up getting here. Okay, so we did luckily get a... Oh, God, no. I might die here. It's very plausible. Okay, that was good. We do have some red hearts available around. Obviously, we lost our devil deal, but that's really not my primary concern here. Okay. Okay. Now we are somewhat in the clear. We are somewhat in the clear. But yeah, like, there's been a few characters that I've showcased that I haven't added to the series. Like I said, a few of them I have reasons for. Others I don't, other than just not having the art available. Which, like I said, I can get. Um, my artist is open to doing more and has said multiple times that they are. But still, 
I think we've actually got a really useful thingy here. Yeah, we got the one that gives you invincibility when you kill an enemy. Uh, the trinket from our 404, that is. I do wish that 404 worked the same way as Molding Clay, where it actually visually changed the image to show you what you um, what you currently have. I, I, I don't know if anyone would be able to implement that as a mod, but that would be a really good update to that item, because right now, not knowing what trinket you have can kind of screw you, and also not knowing what trinket you have can mean that you don't get chance to utilize um, the trinkets that are available. Okay, let's check our shop because we do have five cent here. Um, we don't get a chance to utilize in some rooms. Um, I don't think Diplopia is plausible for us here, but what I will do is I'll bomb this. I really should be keeping my bombs available, shouldn't I? In fact, I was going to play you, but now now that I didn't get a five cent out of that, I'm going to keep it just in case I need my bombs for the next floor. Okay, down we go. Down we go. Got to be careful for the next floor. Definitely got to be careful. We are trying to do Mother here, so we'll see how it goes. I need to be a little more um, thingy about using this. So there's, there's two bombs already. So as long as we get one bomb... We've got the rest available. We do need to get that one bomb. Do remember that we have the whole, um, we have the whole thingy floor to get it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This guy's gonna split. Thank god it doesn't split into two more full mouthed ones. I thought that's what was, what was gonna happen there. We do have essentially two floors uh, to get it because we have the mirror dimension as well. Really nice. I don't go to the mirror place enough. I really should more often. It's very worthwhile. It can be a little risky, but it is all, always very worthwhile. And there's a devil deal protection, which honestly we don't need too much at the minute, because I kind of want to go angel deal, but it's nice to have nonetheless to try and get to angel deal later on, and of course I've immediately been hit, but that means that we'll do the boss straight away here, which honestly I'm not sure if I'm a, I'm a huge fan of doing, t to be honest, because now we've maybe screwed ourselves, okay it doesn't matter, he died incredibly fast, um, yeah I'm gonna leave that alone for now, I don't think, as much as our health is looking good, I don't think a devil deal's the right choice for us right now. Uh, let's look in our shop again for another soul heart. Um, we do have a bomb available there. We don't have a soul heart, so let's just let's just um, hedge our bets here and make sure we have the bombs available. So we'll just do that. Now we have the two bombs we need guaranteed, and then any we we grab extra on top of this, we can use to find secret rooms or destroy shopkeepers or whatever we might like. But yeah, as you can see, we're getting little random dips and stuff. I just think there you go. There's the extra bomb. I just really like it. Compound Fracture can be a bit of a laggy item, um, but I, I I genuinely think it's one of my favourite, like, tier splitting effects of all of them available. I know there's not a ton available, but of all the ones that are available, it's definitely one of my favourites. Um, I think it synergizes really, really well with Quad Shot as well, so... I kind of like these runs where we have, like, a lot of vanilla stuff with an interjection of a bit of modded here and there. Like, the, the full-on modded runs, they're at, they are fun, but you don't really get that synergy. You don't really get many, like, interesting synergies as much so as you do when you get some vanilla stuff mixed in there. Because most of the modded items are made to synergize with vanilla items. So you kind of have the issue of... When you get only modded items, they will synergize with mods, uh, with other items from the same mod. But when you get to the point where it's, um, can we, wait a minute, move this out of the way a second. Um, okay, that did work. And we got a sell at heart as well, very nice. Um, if you get to the point where you're like mixing other mods items a lot of the time, they don't synergize. And if they do, it can be a bit buggy or an unintentional way around it. So we got, is that Eye of Belial? I think that's... Eye of Belial. I might be Greed's Eye, actually. Purgatory is a really good item to maybe grab. Let's find out. No, I don't know what it is, then. It's... Greed's Eye, maybe? I really don't know what that is. We'll try and keep the Zealot Heart alive. I don't know if I'm going to bother going for Purgatory. That is quite a difficult bit of combat for Purgatory. And while Purgatory is good, I don't know if it's worth Rebirth here, causing some issues. I think Pure is, um, supremely good. We'll take that. We got the damage buff straight away. And it's a 6.63 damage buff because of the character we're playing as. That's nutty. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to say that we're probably going to lose our thingy heart here, Zealot Heart. But we managed to make it through. 
That was a little risky. Goddamn, enemies like that is so funny. Okay, I lost... I didn't lose my Zealot Heart yet, actually. I thought I lost it there. Um, we'll pop this in here. Any big room you want to pop that on, because it's guaranteed to give you good reward. It's a little annoying to get hit just because we lost the um, thingy damage. Oh, we did just poison that enemy there. Maybe it's something to do with poison? It's definitely got something to do with poison, because we're firing poison shots every now and again. Oh, no, that could just be our 4 or 4 trinket doing that, actually, giving us the... Um, a bad tooth or whatever it's called. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This time we have a Roboros Worm. Um, slightly problematic. Okay. This is a hard room made much harder by our, by our current um, situation. The good thing is the splitting shots are doing good damage regardless. These guys look really cool with this respray. I don't really know how, how I'm hitting these guys. Oh, the Rebirth. It is truly a curse, but a curse I really love. Rebirth is a really interesting curse. Makes the floor take a little longer, makes room slightly harder, but not so much that it's, like, super bothersome. I think I think we're going to try and loop you around to the Fool's Gold Rock and take you out with a bomb, if we can manage it. Make your way over here, sirs. There you go. Pop that down. Beautiful. The, the multi-use... Oroboros actually isn't that bad. It, just, it is a little hard to get used to the angles you've got to stand at for it to for it to hit. But it really doesn't change that much. And we did get a soul heart out of that as well, so I'm pretty happy with that regardless. Alright, let's keep going. It can always be a bit difficult. Um, modding in general is always a little bit difficult. Sometimes I do find myself being overcritical or... Um, are a bit unfair to... Okay, we did lose our Zealot Heart there. That guy rebirthed and I walked directly into him. This is a very tough room. I think this room specifically with rebirth really isn't good. <laughs> it's really causing some issues. Sadly lost that Zealot Heart. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think giving feedback and just like kind of talking about modded characters and stuff like that, it is a little difficult, and like I said, I can find myself being overly critical sometimes. Um, especially in the Gungeon community. Enter the Gungeon, I find myself complaining a lot about various things. I, I tend to do it with the intention, or at least I hope the intention, of making the mod better and just calling out what I think is wrong with a mod so that it can be improved. It, it, it unfortunately doesn't always come across that way, and I do need to better myself about that. These, these guys are um, taking a beating, and they both rebirth. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I do I do find myself um, maybe being a bit too harsh. I think for the most part, I feel like I'm, I, I, like I'm not too harsh, but I think sometimes I'll maybe be a bit overbearing um, with someone that I don't know very well, like a modder that I'm not actually sure. Um, eh. so with someone that I'm not actually sure can take it the way I intend it to be t taken. So I do need to walk on eggshells a little more sometimes and for anyone that feels that i've ever said anything about your mod that is maybe a bit offensive or like not or it's a bit harsh i do apologize and i hope it i hope in, in the future i can sort of correct that I, I think for the most part it isn't a massive issue i think i do be somewhat candid at least when i'm not salty about things and make sure it's not too um offensive or like derogatory towards the modder. I try, obviously I try never to be derogatory towards the modder. Oh. oh, while this is nice, really when I was saving up for an angel deal, it's not what I was looking for. I will say we do have a pretty good mo uh, pretty good um, run going on already, but still, that wasn't great. I hope that the next one proves to be better. Proves to be much better. Okay. These guys are always pain in the ass. Okay, that should hit, right? Nope. Damn it. We need to kind of hit him right as it fires it. Damn it, that one hit me as well. God damn it. To be fair, I'm okay with that because that does change over my aura. And I did kind of need to change it something else. Unfortunately, it changed back to the same thing that it already was, which is not great. Um, That's pretty good. We'll pop that straight away. We will crack that open. Get a trinket that isn't worth very much to me. I'll actually... um. Pop this guy, see if we get ourselves a, a nickel here. Nice, nice. Also get slightly better deal chances. Not going to make a huge difference, but I'll take it. I like the fact that some of the bones are red. It looks like they're, like, all bloody every now and again. I mean, that's literally the intention. Um, but still, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. 
Right, um, we'll try and get some keys here. I'm basically waiting for a room that has a good amount of enemies before I do that. I mean, I suppose, yeah, I say I could wait for a few enemies to spawn here and then use it, and that worked out just fine. Um, 4.5 volt, we've also got a new item here. Um, Will O Wisp Soul Fire. Interesting. I don't recognize this item. I believe this is from the um, from the new character, the Atlas mod. If, I'm, if I remember correctly, we also got Sinus Infection here. Very nice. Pentacles would have been good as well. Uh, I'm going to assume that it does something to do with wisps with fires or something. Really had no need to actually use that there. I was going to maybe go for 4.5 volt, but I'm more interested in a brand new item. Especially one that has sprites as good as this. Sprites are always something that are, like, intriguing as all hell. I think it needs an outline on the fire, maybe? I don't show sure, 100%. I can't really tell. Um, oh, we, did, we, we have got a wisp here, but that might be from Friendly Sack, actually. I do, I do remember now that Friendly Sack can spawn wisps. Unfortunately, we're on a floor that isn't spawning many fires. I'm really liking having bugger tears here with uh, Compound Fracture. Really, really good. Very, very nice combination of stuff. Okay, boom, boom, bow. We do got to remember as well that there is a small chance that at some point we end up... Oh, this was, this was terrible. This was terrible. At some point, there is the chance... This is horrible. I hate this. <laughs> so much to deal with. Um, that we end up re-rolling our active because of the uh, M trinket or whatever it's called. Being triggered by... Um, what's it called? 404. It can happen. It's been known to happen. Um, and also, I've seen people where they get, like, Genesis or, like, Death Certificate out of it. Obviously, the chances of that are very, very, very niche. But the fact that it's plausible is kind of interesting. So, if we suddenly notice we're not using the same active, that is why. I think I lost a, a burn heart there, did I? Did I lose a burn heart there? Yeah, I did, yeah. I'm having trouble dealing with um, these dudes, to be honest. I didn't realize the um, the fire eternal one was such a tricky boy. Okay, we do have some fires surrounding us now. I'm not sure if it was just them dudes shooting fire that caused that or what. And I'm not exactly sure what they'll do for us, but interesting to see. Okay, now that was close. I'll leave you with that bugger on you there. Ah, dude. That was kind of tricky. Oh, we lost our fire rate bonus. Fire rate bonus is probably the best one, in my opinion. Because it gives you such a large bonus. That one's kind of annoying to lose. Um, I think we're good to just go in here and... Oh, we got this this guy again. Well, the, the other version of this guy, should I say. Okay, we got fire rate again here, so we're looking good. Very nice. Eternal Heart there. Sadly, no Angel deal, but I was somewhat expecting that. I probably shouldn't have taken that Eternal Heart, actually. That's probably going to get lost. Yep, spray it away. That's a shame. Anyways, down we go. Looking pretty good. We don't need to do the um, the chase, which the room didn't even spawn, actually, which is curious. Oh, it's because I never got the first knife piece. That's why. It's fine. Um, give... Okay, that's my that's my own bad, that is. Hopefully it still spawns later on, but we'll see. I realise that some people will consider that cheating, but we're so far into the series now that it's more about having fun than doing things legit. I already got Dead God pretty much legit. People can think what they want to think. We're here to have fun. That'd be kind of nice, I suppose. This is a room that scares the bejeebus out of me, because I'm kind of stuck down here now. But it actually went okay. Grab that real quick. That's This is a very weird room. The layout of this kind of freaks me out a little bit. Now this is scary. Just because these red fires are gonna shoot me. But there you go. Look, we're getting wisps upon destroying fires. Interesting. I swear there's another, there's another item that does something very, very similar from the um, Jerb mod. It's got that scor is it called Scorched Earth? I don't know how this one functions. They look to be primarily defensive. Ow. 
Hollowed Ground is providing some use if every now and again. We've got a Miser Heart. When depleted, we'll reroll everything in the room. Passively discount shops. Really like that. Miser Hearts are pretty cool. Right. Um, oh, mistake, mistake. Oh, my lord. Didn't understand the assignment there. Still didn't understand the assignment. Oh, my lord. This room. That room baffled me for a moment there. Oh, we do have a tainted treasure room here. A little annoyed about the fact that I'm not going to get Angel Deal again. And my health is not great. That's not ideal. It's not ideal. What do we get here? New quad shot. Shoot six tiers at once. Interesting. What? Is that just better quad shot? <laughs> I think it is. I will take it. I will most certainly take it. I will get hit multiple times by these enemies that I don't really understand how to fight. I guess just making walk into the fires is a good way of doing it. Into the spike, sorry. Is a good way of doing it. I think we have... Um, yeah, we have the Bugger Tears Trinket in this room as well, active. Kind of funny. Got another little clotty here, a little ghosty clotty. Just a wholesome, great one. We we remember the clots from last episode being the ultimate power. Dude, you were stood on the teleporter. I didn't realize it was going to link there. There are some, like, new, pretty darn tricky rooms existing at the moment. I like them. They're pretty good. The mausoleum should have some tricky rooms, but goddamn, are they pummeling me just a bit. Betrayal. We'll take whatever this is. Free lemonade. Unfortunately not. Not for me, thank you. Okay. We are through. Th that eternal one got demolished. And the shop. We don't have a miser heart anymore, sadly. We're not going to need steam sale from here on out, so let's buy this. Okay, that didn't really help anything. Um, and I guess we'll buy this as well. Does this work yet? There's there's quite a lot of um, of Ipecac based items and trinkets and stuff that, for me, I, I think it's because of unintentional synergy, like interaction, should I say, not synergy, between other mods. But there's quite a few things in Ipecac that just don't work. It's not, it's not like super common or anything, but it is unfortunate that they do seem to still be persisting after this amount of time. I, I do need to speak to the developers and maybe see if there's anything that can be done about it, because it's partially my fault that I haven't given a proper bug report, apart from the videos themselves to the developers. I'm sure there is uh, something that can be done, or at least something that can be investigated, or maybe I can send over my logs or something, I don't know. I'm sure I can do something to help the process. You have been bested, my fella. There's some more health. Really, it's looking like whatever we have right now is kind of what we're going to be stuck with for the mother fight. Which, honestly, I'm not that bothered about. Like, health I could definitely do with a little more of, but item-wise, I think just because of the, the six-shot plus bugger tiers, we're actually in a not-too-bad spot. Because we can just stack up a ridiculous amount of bugger tiers quite quickly. But unfortunately, just because of the situation right now, we are going to be losing our Angel deal very rapidly, pretty much constantly. Because, I don't know, the game feels like it's kind of refusing to give me any soul hearts right now. Like, I, I haven't actually seen one drop this entire run, I don't think. Okay, good. We have got the fire rate bonus right now, so it'd be nice to keep that. Good, good. I don't know how I'm going to fare against um, Mom 2, I'll be honest. Both the heart and the foot. Both seems like they're going to be pretty problematic for us. Oh, for God's sake. I don't care about being hit too much. I care about losing my aura. That's the biggest loss here. Oh, 
Dude. Dude. Just die already. So we're keeping health going pretty well. No active. Dude. For one, I did not hit the spikes there. Don't lie to me, game. Even though I definitely did, but shut up. Um, but also, absolutely dude in, refer in reference to the fact that we just keep getting actives. I literally have a mod on that reduces your chance to get actives, and the game's still like, here's 10 actives. Deal with it, bitch. Deep pockets. Hmm. Yeah, it's looking like, unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with what we got here. But I like the idea of this little fire thing, and I like the idea of the mutant spider upgrade. That's good. We also got the damage bonus here, which is good. Nice that coming down works on you. For some reason I didn't think it would. Okay, we are killing pretty quick with our damage ups. There's our knife piece. Good, good. Um, we will take this. We'll check out the devil deal because we got one. Yeah, let's take that. We kind of need it. I'll check out the boss rush just in case there's something incredible here. Epic and a doctor fetus even. That seems like a recipe for disaster, which means I pretty much have to take it. Like, look at the amount of bombs we fire. And also, we seem to have Herming currently. Or some Herming. I wish the Hursts would go away, please. We also are going to get scaling damage during this entire fight, which is rather nice. Yeah, but we're getting some Herming, and I don't know where from. Also, I do not like the fact that we've got a little buddy firing bombs as well. That's a little scary. <laughs> I think even bosses with boss armor are going to have trouble with this. We got a card there. Dude, can you stop flying away from me? Can you, you realize your job is to attack me, right? What the hell, monstro? Not cool, buddy. Not cool. I think my little um, my little fella's gone. This guy keeps jumping over my bombs. What? Goddamn hosts! This chiller over here, I think. Yep. The spikes in the middle don't help either. I realize they can kill some bosses for us, but still. It ain't ideal. This is just gonna be an annoying boss to, to fully kill. Ow. I can't even see what's hitting me, to be honest. Dude, stop. Stop. No hearse spawned, wow. See, this guy with boss armor, enemies with boss armor are going to be a huge issue. Because they still take just as much effort to kill. If you'd like to walk into the spikes, then I will welcome you to do so, my my good friend. Also, this does not help. God damn, the hosts are the worst. Get out of here. There you go. Take care of some damage there just with, by using that fella. Okay, that's one half done. This guy specifically has an insane amount of boss armor. Compared to most of the bosses we fight, they don't have that much. He has a lot. <laughs> can, can you stop going into your invulnerable phases, please? Very difficult to actually kill you when I never can actually attack. Oh, dude. Really that didn't hit any of you? Okay, good. 
We got a clot back. Which definitely helps with the damage output. This guy, of course, has boss armor as well, as you can tell. That's rather nice. Okay, these guys are just killing themselves on the spikes. That's, that's fine by me. The eternal one, I don't know what he does. He is dead now. We don't have to worry about what he does. I have no idea where this other boss is. He's underground somewhere. He's going to telefrag me. I, I can just feel it. He tried it. He tried it. Not quite, my sir. Not quite. Yet another pretty annoying boss for us here. Ow. I think we got all of Steven. That dude. Yeah, this is going to take a while. It's just annoying that the bomb doesn't penetrate through multiple layers. Like, if I do over damage, just let it penetrate through multiple layers of his health. I don't have to fire a bomb at every single stage. It's just inconvenient. And we're getting a lot of money out of this, but unfortunately, what the hell do we do with it? Like, there's no need for the money. Especially this guy having flight as well means he's not even walking on the spikes and taking some self-damage from time to time. We're getting there. Don't get me wrong, we're getting there, but it's it's just taking quite a while. We're having to use quite a lot of explosives for a single health bar, which is not ideal. I'm trying to use the knife whenever I can, because the knife does enough damage to kill one of the smaller sections. Is that it? Nope, one more here. Definitely the boss that took the longest out of all of those. Damn you, Monstro 2. I don't know if Monstro 2 has boss armor. I don't think he does. Hey, you've stole my fellas. Including my knife. Do not agree with that. Everything just turns to gold. It's great. And then you, my, my good sir. You've been surrounded and destroyed. We've got up to 18.5 damage so far. The Heretic is another boss that has a particularly aggressive amount of boss armor. I do need to tweak the boss armor values a little bit. I'll be doing a, a full reinstall of my mods fairly soon, basically after the, the Nuzlocke. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that then I'll have the opportunity to... Um, excuse me, sir. I'm hoping that then I'll have the opportunity to reinstall all my mods, hopefully clear some of the lag, and um, change around some of the configurations of some specific mods, mainly the boss armor one. I really, I still really like having the boss armor mod, but I might just make it so that it only affects end game bosses and doesn't affect anything else. Because I feel like it affecting the other bosses can be a little annoying. Uh, so I might just make it so that it only affects... Oh, really? Walk right into that. Uh, it only affects, like, the end game bosses. But yeah, we got multi-dimensional baby here, which is kind of interesting. I'm still a bit scared here, I'll be honest. That was really stupid of me. I don't know if you noticed what I did there, but I tried to fire the knife at him. Well, this heart looks so cool. Luckily, the bombs don't bounce themselves around anymore. When they used to do that, it used to make Dr. Fetus so much worse. Unfortunately, we lose a lot of our damage there, but still, damage is good enough. And with that amount of bombs, of course it is. Gimme, gimme. Still, I think we've, we've got a serious issue of our health not really being enough right now. Where are the herming bombs coming from every now and again? What is it that's doing that? Is it the bugger tier ones that have herming? It must be. Anarchist cookbook. I mean, I'll take it for bookworm, depending. I think we take this in with us. Ooh, wait, can we pop this real quick? We can. Fortunately, it didn't particularly matter. Dude, that was one of the most clutch teleports I've ever seen. Get, get me out of here now. Get me out of here. I can't, I can't teleport out. These enemies are really hard to kill with this setup. Holy, I almost died there. I almost died there. Um... I was going to say, what's a good way for us to get some health back? It's probably just playing well, isn't it? 
Unfortunately, it probably just involves me playing well. Which is quite the shame, because with this amount of Dr. Fetus, I don't know how plausible that actually is. Do you guys always drop maggots? I never noticed that before. Maybe it's just because normally I kill you so fast. We're trying to clear rooms to get the room reward more than anything, I'll be honest. These guys are particularly problematic because, for one, they can jump right at you. But for two, while they're in midair, they can jump over explosions. I think. Oh god, there's bouncy shots. Oh no! Thank you, Fanny Pack, for making up for my terrible, terrible mistakes. These guys, unfortunately, does not work with explosions on penetration up. I would love it if they did. Ow. Oh, this is going to be horrible. I don't really understand where the things are moving in this room, so I'm having a hard time. Ooh. This is terrible, but could be great. I think, I gotta, I think I've got to take, take my advantage while I have it and see what I can do with this. You see? Dude. Why did I just take a bunch of damage there? I might die before I get to the boss. I, I really am not quite sure what happened just then. I'm very unclear. Is that an Alexa? That's an Alexa right there. Not a huge fan of the situation we're in right now. Health down? I'm dead. Yeah, the, that room. I was one charge off Mega Mush. Couldn't understand that room whatsoever. What the hell hit me in the other room? I'm really confused. I think what I did is I put down Mr. Boom and for some reason just didn't move, I guess. I think it was Mr. Boom. I think I thought it was something else. A different active and I just used it and then just stood right in front of it. It was really dumb. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I'll see you guys in the next one.